this weekend. Speaking of mysteries, uh, unsolved mysteries, which has uh, obviously been a, been a big deal on this show for the past month or so. It's on Netflix, the, 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 the rebirth of unsolved mysteries. And out of all the shows that have been on there, the uh, the episode that Angel is on, uh, and it's the episode about Angel's brother, uh, has been uh, the one that really has got, gotten the, the most attention. It's the biggest mystery of all. And yesterday, I don't know if you saw this, Angel, but yesterday, uh, I guess uh, the guy that was your brother's best friend, Porter, finally has uh, come out and spoken to reporters. Uh, uh, he spoke to a reporter. A reporter, a reporter. From the uh, Baltimore Sun. And I'll let you explain what uh, uh, what he what he said and what's going on with that. I I don't know the, the, all the specific details. I know I'm aware. Okay, well, I, I, yeah, you, I'm aware well, that I, he uh, that he and another uh, person uh, that was uh, photo in a photograph of in the episode both uh, felt compelled to speak to, to speak okay. to this particular reporter uh, from the Baltimore Sun. Here's what I read that he he basically said, "Do you know what it feels like to be accused of of uh, your best friend's murder? I can't believe people are accusing me." Uh, as soon as I heard that something had happened to Ray, I just uh, 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 I did everything I could to help. That that's basically what he says, and and then he then calls into question uh, your your brother's wife. Uh, yeah. uh, it, it's what? Amazing. How do you do that? How do you how do you how do you one second say uh, you did everything again and then accuse the wife of any type of wrong you got to read the article he he, he kind of says that, uh, that 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 what she reported wasn't accurate that that he did everything that he could and and that he bent over backwards to help and and that that she is misrep, misrepresenting what what he did uh, it's well, curious because uh, um, him and the other gentleman mentioned in the piece uh, both had every opportunity to be a part of this program. Um, did Net they? Yeah, Netflix asked them uh, if they wanted to comment. Netflix uh, offered, afforded them every opportunity to be a part of it. So then you wait a, a month after the episode airs, and then you talk to the Baltimore Sun. All right, cool. Um, yeah. You know, that's that's all. That's entirely his prerogative. Uh, there was, I guess, another uh, one of the other guys in there. Uh, that's uh, um, you know, the, the other guy that's in that piece isn't even mentioned in the. In the uh, documentary, um, yeah. he's just in a photograph, and that's the dude that's uh, apparently been wiling out all over uh, Reddit, uh, just doing scatter shot, trying to respond to everybody. I don't know what his motivation is. I don't know if he feels like he's been left out, but he himself also was afforded every opportunity to uh, be a part of it. And then to for him to try to um, take a shot and try to say that it, this was an opportunity to talk about mental health, I don't know where he has the credentials. Yeah. The, the credentials or the credibility to make that uh, assumption or try to put that out there seems to me like guys that are trying to, you know, if you guys want to be a part of the story, you want to be part of the help, help us. Uh, well, that's what uh, what Porter said was because uh, the reason uh, the reason he wasn't a part of any of that was because th there was no mystery; it was a suicide. That's 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 what Porter said. Yeah, that's what uh, I, I, I would expect as much from him. Wow. Really, yeah. for him to say that like that, to, to I mean, wouldn't you wouldn't you want as if it was your true best friend to not even want to believe a suicide, to look at the facts, to look at the evidence, and be like, you know what, I don't think it was a suicide. I want to find the person who who's involved with this. Yeah, I thought it was an odd response when I read yeah. the uh, the article. Like it's come it came out from the Baltimore Sun. It's weird that he would come out and speak to just that paper, isn't it, uh, Angel? It is very curious. Uh, again, uh, he's been afforded. Uh, both of those gentlemen have been afforded every opportunity to be a part of all of this. So for them to take that position, um, it is uh, quite uh, curious uh, to say hey, the least. Did Porter and uh, Ray's wife, uh, I, I, I forgot her name, I'm Allison. sorry. Allison. Uh, did, did they get along uh, before all of this? Like, were they, yeah, there were was they friendly? A, yeah, there was uh, uh, no animosity there. Um, and, like, even in the piece, it is mentioned that he was uh, helpful in getting uh, the media attention to us. Uh, in the piece, it's a mention that he put up uh, the $1,000 uh, reward for information. So for him to, uh, again, take this uh, this position um, it's uh, quite curious, hmm. you know, so, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I can't speak on what their, you know, their motivations are, but I find it, uh, again, interesting and the terminology and the ways that they're trying to, uh, frame this, because if you want to help like those guys, you know, both of those guys, all those guys, they know my parents, they know our family, like those yeah. dudes, like those dudes were at my, my dad's house. You know what I mean? 
So you like if you if there was ever a question, uh, like, I mean, I ask you guys: Have you had a uh, 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 a question about a, uh, one of your friends and their mental state? And you know, and it's somebody you know. Wouldn't you reach out to their family sure, and be like, "Hey, listen, I'm not sure what's going on here." Um, I, I, uh, I think you guys, this is something that needs to be looked at or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. But to say it five years later, it has been more than five years, uh, it's been more than five years. So, but to throw that out there, half cocked idea and have no, I mean, absolutely zero credibility. Um, and then again, being the same person that's running around all over, uh, Reddit and trying to, uh, get into arguments with everybody that kind of lets you know what kind of person that dude is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ryan, did you find the article? I did find the article. I'm ad blocked by it, uh, so I'm having to do some technical ad blocked. Ad blocked. What is that? Uh, well, yeah, not ad blocked. You, to... I, you, you have to be a subscriber to oh, log oh, in. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, oh, oh. So I uh, oh, the, but, uh, the paywall thing. Yeah, but yeah. but if, if you, if, here's a fun fact: if you ever run into a paywall like that, where you have to sign in to to view a a, a news story, you can yeah. just view the page's source, and the whole article will be there. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? How do you do it? <laughs> so uh, on a web browser, you can always view a page source. It's usually control U or something like that. And then it'll sh- you'll see all the code, but then there'll be this one giant block of plain text. You can just copy it over into like Microsoft Word and it'll... Ah. He, he does allude Ryan, into the, in the article. Hacker. Porter does allude to the article with that he's getting a lot of. Uh, I don't know if they, I don't know if he said death threats, but uh, I think threats comes up or and like he's getting a lot of hate. Uh, I would. From, t- I would uh, look if that is accurate uh, on both of their behalfs. I would. Uh, I would encourage <laughs> them to get in. Uh, reach out to yeah. law enforcement. Who is this other guy, Brad Hopman? Do you, 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 he said he's been. To, he's he's known Ray Rivera since childhood. Does he work with Porter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know him too, Angel. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. But the insult of just like this is a real conversation the world can have about mental illness and help people get help when they need it. That's get, what he says. No, yeah. no, no. That's interesting. For again, to say that now, as opposed to if that was the case, and you know, when when if that was what was going on, and you were needed, he never said it before. Yeah, you were needed to speak up, and mm-hmm. you didn't do that. You know. Now, did now just to be clear, and you've talked about this before, but your, your brother did, didn't have a history of mental illness, as you were no, aware of. No, he did not. No. So that's that's them trying to frame a, a kind of a narrative here. And he in uh, in this article, Porter says he didn't want to talk about it because he said uh, he always just assumed it's a suicide. No, that's that doesn't seem right because you put a gag order on your whole company while there was an investigation. He, well, he says there was no gag order as well. He says that was uh, misrepresented. Uh, he said that everyone who called the company was supposed to talk to a particular person who was in charge of it and that the gag order it was falsely reported. All you got to do is look, go back and watch and listen to Detective Byer. And Detective Byer, Baltimore PD, walk, you know, basically tells you he walked to their doorsteps, knocked on their door, tried to talk to them, and everybody lawyered up. And then when he tried to talk to employees, he was uh, you know, basically given that uh, issue. That's why he was asking he needed the power to get a grand jury. You know, so you, it's you know you can, say, my, you, you can say what you want over here. Yeah. Just go straight to the detective and let him tell you. This is something that Jeff Coppin pointed out too. For a multi-million dollar business, and this is your best friend that died, you put up a thousand dollar reward. Really, isn't nothing. I mean, that that's a nothing reward. Even ten, it was ten years ago. Is that what it was? Twelve. Twelve years ago, even twelve years ago. I mean, you got a multi multi million dollar business. You're like, oh, I'll put up a thousand dollar reward for anyone who can find out who killed my friend. That's not much, you know. That's like saying if something happened to Carlos, I'm like, listen, I got ten bucks on anyone yeah. who <laughs> who can figure out who did it. You know, it, it's uh, it, it's kind of uh, kind of crazy, but um, yeah, but you know, it, it, but here we are. Still, it's been out for more than a month, and there's at least there's some action going on at least there's something because um obviously porter felt like he had to talk to someone because so, I, obviously i misspoke there it was actually 14 years of trying to do the math it, head, sa- it, it says he actually it says so he did he, he eventually in june of 23rd of 2006 he talked to a detective that wasn't detective buyer he'd already been reassigned and he talked to a detective named marvin sidnor uh who had the case after a buyer did not now have you ever seen that Interaction. Uh, we, or... that, that interaction has never been made available to us, and uh, that's uh, Sinauer is the detective that uh, the case ended up and became a cold case with him because uh, he uh, wasn't able to get any uh, new leads. I'm just surprised at, Porter at finally. Time. I'm su- I'm surprised Porter finally uh, you know, spoke out though. It is curious. You know? So uh, the being compelled, and then again, you go to the Baltimore Sun. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, if, if you've not seen it, it's Unsolved Mysteries. It's one of the hottest things on Netflix. It's the first episode. It's called Mystery on the Rooftop. You can see Angel in it. It's about his brother. And, um, and you know, the, the uh, invest. So it seems like the investigation is still going on. It's not like it's been dropped. So this has helped in some way, right, Angel? I think so. Um, it's, again, and this is, uh, you know, I've, I, I, I firmly believe this in this sense uh, because of it happening in Baltimore. And you guys have heard me say this. I, you know, it's going to, in in, this, in Baltimore, this has uh, been on different news and do different news stories. And that's why he felt, I probably felt compelled to go to this uh, paper there locally because the attention has been on him and the focus has been on him. So um, that would be the reason. But I think if we get any resolution, it's going to come from there, from yeah. from the city of Boston. Uh, another mystery. 